1972, a group of local lawyers and judges joined together to start a community law school in Monterey County. They saw local residents who were qualified and wanted to become lawyers, but couldn't leave their jobs and families to attend law schools in the Bay Area or Southern California. They saw law firms in need of lawyers who understood the local issues and politics. They saw a community in need of highly educated and dedicated people who wanted to make their world a better place. 50 years later, Monterey College of Law is stronger than ever. Monterey College of Law was, was never conceptualized to be only a law school. So we had three different portions of it that we all felt were critical. One was creating a top-rate law school, but equally important to all of the people that were there to help create the law school was giving back to the community. And the third arm of it was to create clinics and service type organizations so that the students and the professors could help people in the community. The founders of this law school had that same vision and we offer opportunities for diverse students with diverse interests. We have police officers and we've had, you know, uh, very, very progressive uh, political activists in the same classroom because our community is diverse. There are many students that come to Monterey College of Law that this is really what we call a first generation. Many of them are the first generation to go to college, let alone the first generation to get a graduate degree. And so many of them are bilingual, bicultural, uh, and so that's great for the community to give the community this opportunity, but many times they will go back out into the community as law students working in these myriad of clinical programs we have. I think that students from Monterey College of Law are helping shape a new, uh, a new vision of what it means to be a lawyer and how you provide legal services in a way that is sustaining and sustained. That's something we were excited about when we first started because there were very few women lawyers. And Monterey College of Law was about half women students. That's very unusual. There were no law schools that were half female in those days. And that was the idea that we had to create a local law school that would serve our community and maybe, if we're lucky, inspire some of our students to do the public service work that had shaped our young careers. The thing about Monterey College of Law that is so unique is that it doesn't it doesn't excise or separate out the training of lawyers from the education of the, of, of the community. That the fabric of the law affects all of our lives. Um, and so that, so that we as a law school have a commitment to opening the community up to information. We started, I think, from the very beginning offering programs to the general public. We put our heads together and came up with this idea of the Heisler Moot Court that would not just be for students, but would be to present constitutional Bill of Rights issues to the public and to engage the public in those, those uh, important questions. And we've been incredibly lucky over the years to have very distinguished justices and judges come and sit at our small law school. They're intrigued with this idea of holding arguments in public, and they become educated in the legal process. Then, when the Mandel Gaznet Center came on, there was the opportunity to do something much more than train lawyers. But the Mandel Gaznet Center offered a whole new opportunity for good. In addition to the curriculum for students, it has created very dynamic and sought after training programs, both for the legal community, for lawyers to become better trained and even certified in mediation, but also we've run programs uh, open to the general public, to people that don't have a law degree, who aren't lawyers, but who are interested in the field of alternative dispute resolution. We finally devised a court-directed mediation program that today has served with a panel of volunteer lawyers a continuing contribution to the community. Their whole goal for the Monterey College of Law was to be a community-based law school. Our clinical studies program, I think, has been exemplary 
and has been a tremendous advantage by getting the students not only in the small claims advisory clinic and the other clinical programs, but we are able to send students into legal services for seniors, uh, CLRA, California uh, Rural Legal Assistance, and other programs. When I first came, we had a small claims clinic. We've grown from that one clinic to where we now have 14 different clinics being offered to the community, most at no cost or at a very nominal cost to cover document preparation. And we now can help individuals in areas such as family law, elder law, immigration, conservatorship, guardianship. Uh, there's a small claims clinic at the law school that students uh, volunteer or or participate in and give people help in preparing their small claims cases. And there are also students who act as mediators for small claims. And there are people in the community getting helped in that way too from the clinics. The students are learning a lot about the practice. They're learning a lot about um, engaging with people uh, as clients and they're learning a, and the clients themselves, the people themselves are being helped. Monterey College of Law provides extremely important access to justice for people who aren't otherwise able to get those services. So Monterey College of Law for many years has been a law school that has made its mission to have access to justice, whether it is free services or low bono services for community members. Our immigration clinic is based upon that my name is Geraldine Singh Edwards. I'm the supervising attorney for Monterey College of Law Immigration Clinic. The clinic deals with all kinds of immigration issues. We first take an intake to determine what exactly the case uh, entails. And then from there, we go on with a game plan for the client to see what exactly they qualify for, if they qualify for anything. We have workshops at the school where we pretty much get to practice the law. We are supervised by an attorney, of course, but we get to help the community in ways that we wouldn't be able to unless we were practicing attorneys. I personally feel that these workshops serve an extremely important um, function in this community because there is no longer a free legal aid that even handles restraining orders. So there is nowhere to, for clients to go other than coming here for these types of services. And we make sure that they have the forms, all the forms that they need to get a restraint order by the end of the, the workshop. Monterey College of Law continues its commitment to providing free legal information to underserved populations through its community clinics in Salinas, California. We have a great collaboration with the school district out in Salinas offering services to the community. So we do a quick triage with anybody that comes in the door and we try to get down to what their legal issue is and we're able to offer them information to help them get to the next step in whatever process they're at. So if they have a, they've been served with a restraining order paperwork, we can help them get out their response. If they are wanting to get divorced or protect their children in some kind of custody situation, we can put the forms in front of them and help them fill it out, help them write their declarations and explain to them how to get it filed and served. Monterey College of Law students work directly with clients in order to gain real-life experience, but also serve to establish trust within the community in our legal system. Often, when people arrive at the clinic, they already feel disconnected, and the clinic helps provide information and clarity about their specific situation. I'm just grateful that they're providing these services to our community. I grew up in this community. I was born and raised, and I can tell you from my own personal experience that I know that most of the time our parents here are very afraid of seeking out information or some type of legal information or legal advice from other people. We live in this wonderful community and many people don't know the gem that is the Monterey College of Law. To the extent that we can train people who are capable and interested in providing low cost service to people who are involved in simple legal conflicts that are so affecting their lives, I think we'd be, we're doing a great service. What we've been able to accomplish is continue the Opportunity Law School mission by having more diversity in our, both in our staff, faculty, and students. 
Uh, that's been a mission from the very beginning, but really in the last few years we've seen, like the state of California, our student body is a majority minority student body. Over 50% of our students are students of color. Well, over 50% of our community are residents of color, which means that we are doing a good job of matching the needs of our community to our educational population. Well, when I think of the numbers of students who have been through Monterey College of Law and graduated and offered service back to the community through nonprofit boards and through community service and volunteer work and pro bono work, it's a phenomenal amount of community service that Monterey College of Law has done. And when I think of the amount of, of good work that has come out of the law school through all those students over all those years, it's really pretty astounding. We need more lawyers who are willing to help ordinary people with their legal needs, and there's a shortage of that. One of the most important aspects of legal education is that it addresses the inequity and the needs in our communities. It provides people within the community who can help those who, who cannot help themselves, who either don't have the information, don't have the resources, don't have access to the justice system, all of which is very complicated and sometimes can be very expensive. A community law school provides the opportunity to go right to the heart of that issue. And it addresses some of the most fundamental rights that we have as community members. The lawyers we train to go back into their community and serve deal with the most fundamental issues of humanity. And the more that people understand the dynamics of the issues that we face and, and recognize the importance of institutions like the law school in helping us to do that, the better off our community will be and our world will be.